Jack was five when we went up Thanksgiving, and I uh, sort of snuggled in with him to read. And my son, stern-faced, walked in. Jack, Dad, one story. Read one story. You understand, Dad? Read one story. Jack, you understand? Dad's going to read one story. Yes, we understood. But he says, Grand, Dad said you could read me one story. And you read it. But you could tell me another story. <laughs> So what story do you want to hear? He said, I want to know about the day you got hit in Montgomery, Alabama and got hurt. And I said, Jack, it's a story that is a short story. It's very brief. And it's a story with a happy ending, so I'm glad to tell you there was a time when there was some angry, hostile white people in Montgomery, Alabama, and there were some black people who wanted to ride the bus. And the mean, angry, hostile white people beat up the black people and put them in the hospital. And they beat me up and put me in the hospital. But Jack is a story with a happy ending. They came out of the hospital. I came out of the hospital. We're all well. And now everybody can ride the bus. Who knows what goes on in the face of a five-year-old? And I know there are wheels turning. And he says to me, Grand, are you black? And it took my breath, <laughs> took my breath away. Grand, are you black? And I, I think, this child's colorblind. Thank God this child <laughs> is not, is not what I was. And, Maybe not what his father was, but this child is colorblind. And I said, Jack, it really doesn't matter. I gave him a kiss, told him goodnight. When I got home, I wrote him a letter. And I said, Jack, you asked me to tell you a story about it, and I did. But in the end, I said, it really doesn't matter. And that was not true. Color still matters, Jack. Race still matters, Jack. Discrimination still lives, Jack. And I hope at 75 that you, who are five, will find that by the time you're my age, it really won't matter anymore.